Hi everyone, I'm Ezra and I'm going to present the final project for fashion public relations class and the brand that we chose is Mercedes Salazar. This is just an overview summary of what the whole presentation and the final project is about. And here's the interview that one okay, of my listo, ya está grabando. Entonces, Hi Mercedes, Mercedes, thank you for that. About the brand, now I'm going to talk about the brand DNA, ideology, design goals and PR budget. So the brand uh, Mercedes Salazar's brand DNA is rooted in a Colombian heritage, incorporating traditional artisanal techniques and indigenous designs into her jewelry. Um, uh, the brand's personality is closely tied to Mercedes Salazar's own personality. As such, collection she designs is a reflector of her life story, beliefs, and values. She believes that art and design are a way to connect with people and make a positive impact on the world. The brand ideology, Mercedes uh, Salazar's brand ide ideology revolves around celebrating the beauty and diversity of Colombian culture while also empowering marginalized communities through ethical and sustainable practices. Her approach to design is unique, and in that, she incorporates mystical and spiritual elements into her pieces. She draws inspiration from indigenous beliefs and practices and infuses them into her designs she uh, in her interview she mentions that how she uh, how the stages of her life have had a strong influence on her creations like when she had a children she created a collection inspired from a mother's love and she also believes that jewelry is much more than a fancy ornament jewels are charms that people collect across their lives that become lucky lucky, uh, lucky charms so uh, sustainability is really important for Mercedes and her sustainability proposal includes employing 200 indige indigenous artisans from the marginal areas of Colombia, providing them with fair wages and preserving traditional artisanal methods in her designs. The brand also uses sustainable materials such as recycled acrylic, biodegradable resin and natural fibers in its collections, reducing the environment impact of its products. The four main uh, uh, design and business goals for MS are that it should have a more sustainable company uh, and have more alliances to broaden reach and target audience and celebrate the work of artisans and take Colombian fashion further. So in terms of design and business goals, she also, uh, Mercedes is committed to using the repetition of her brand to push for alliances to achieve different goals, creating and developing dreams and thinking about other human beings around her and developing a company that is more cautious every day with a team that shares her values and goals. According to Mercedes Salazar and her marketing executives, the PR budget uh, varies depending on the yearly revenue. Last year's PR budget was 45,000 US dollars. I'm going to talk about the media research that we did for MS. So Mercedes Salazar has a um, presence on um, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and they have a very uh, well-organized website. And the brand has a very well, uh, well-developed website and also maintains an Instagram profile, which is regularly updated and is followed by 216,000 followers of the brand. And yeah. So, uh, the, uh, so Mercedes Salazar is, um, I'm, I'm going to show you the Mercedes Salazar's most important press coverages, uh, which were done by Harper's Bazaar, Vogue magazine, the Nova article, um, uh, Paper City magazine, and Gold uh, Fashion Network article, and Gold Book magazine, just to name a few. Then uh, Mercedes Salazar's products are sold throughout the world, and the, uh, and the um, Six uh, uh, websites that sell these products are the Luxury st Collection Store, Amazon.com, Mercedes Salazar website, uh, Intermix, Bird of Goodman, and La Grande Epicere de Paris. And, uh, and their products were seen were worn by Katy Perry and Sofia Vergara. So who should be their media publics? Uh, we collected a few magazines and we come, came up with Vogue, Nat Geo, Nat Geo, National Geographic, and Elle. Vogue is one of the most influential magazines, so yeah, that would be best for it. National Geographic has a focus on cultural and environmental preservation, which aligns with Mercedes values and sustainability in supporting local communities concept. And then Elle is another wonder fashion magazine. And the other we have is Refinery29 is a digital media platform that has focused on promoting diversity and inclusivity in fashion. Then WWD Women's Wear Daily is a leading fashion industry publication that covers breaking news trends and business updates in the fashion industry. Then The Zoo Report uh, is a digital media black outlet focused on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So we would pitch, uh, we would, uh, um, pitch uh, National Geographic for Mercedes Salazar because uh, I think Mercedes Salazar's story would be a gift for the National Geographic's audience. Her mission aligns with the network's commitment to exploring and protecting the world's diverse cultures and environments. Moreover, her brand has made a significant impact in the fashion industry with pieces that are works of art and have been featured uh, in, to uh, in top department stores around the world. National Geographic would help amplify her message to a wider audience, showcasing her impact in the fashion industry and the positive social and cultural impact of her work. It could be a great opportunity for both parties to share stories that inspire and educate people on uh, important issues.
I'm going to show you the market research right now. We did the buy persona, like the, and we came up with Natalia. She's a customer of Mercedes Salazar. She's 28 years old. She's a female and um, her ethnicity is Latin and she's from Mexico City. Her values aligned well with Mercedes Salazar's values like sustainability, fair trade, supporting local artisans, cultural heritage and diversity. She's a very down to earth and a free spirited individual who loves to explore new places and cultures just like Mercedes Salazar, and she values quality over quantity and is willing to spend more on a unique handmade piece of jewelry, and she enjoys shopping, and uh, the influencer that could match this persona would be Danny Shu. Mercedes Salazar's target market values quality, uniqueness, sustainability, and ethical practices. They appreciate handcrafted items and prioritize transparent brands that align with their values. They also shop at a local artisan markets and thrift stores, and carefully research and compare products before purchasing. COVID has impacted shopping behaviors, leading to an oversaturated online market. Personalization is key for brands to stand out in this increasingly competitive marketplace as people spend more time browsing for unique items. Personalization is predicted to continue rising as a trend. Personalization offers significant benefits for brands. Segment's report shows that nearly half of the customers become repeat buyers with personalized experiences. The global personalization market is expected to grow from 760 million in 2021 to nearly 3 billion by 2027. Personalization can enhance customer purchasing behavior for Mercedes Alaza by offering customized options that provide a sense of individuality and ownership. This can differentiate the brand from the competitors, attracting customers who value customization and lead to increased loyalty and repeat business. It aligns with Mercedes Salazar's brand values and can strengthen customer relationships. Fast fashion's promotion of disposable fashion and overconsumption has contributed to this trend towards sustainable and ethical alternatives, reflecting changing consumer attitudes towards environmental and social responsibility. First off, fashion emits as much greenhouse gases as France, Germany, and the UK combined. It must cut emissions in half by 2030 to avoid exceeding the 1.5 degree limit. Secondly, 66% of consumers want sustainable products. Sustainability is a long-term trend as consumers seek eco-friendly fashion options. Mercedes Salazar's artisanal techniques and sustainable approach appeal to customers who want unique, ethical, and environmentally responsible products. Sustainable materials and production methods can also attract consumers concerned about fashion's environmental impact. In this section, we will cover the positioning and competitors of the brand, who are their main competitors, and what are the brand's positioning goals. Lizzy Fortunato is the brand's competitor and is a fashion brand known for its unique designs that mix materials and textures to create bold and eclectic jewelry, accessories, and ready-to-wear pieces. Lizzy Fortunato has been featured in top fashion and lifestyle publications such as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Architectural Digest, and more. Lizzy Fortunato also has a social media presence with over 100k Instagram followers and accounts on Facebook and Twitter where it shares the latest collections, design process insights, and updates on collaborations and events. Another competitor is Bibi Marini, a New York-based jewelry designer, and she draws inspiration from her cultural heritage like Mercedes Salazar. She combines artisanal techniques and traditional Colombian weaving with modern aesthetics. Mercedes Salazar is a luxury brand that combines Colombia's cultural heritage with global fashion trends to create unique and authentic jewelry and home accessories. The brand prioritizes sustainable production practices, employs indigenous artisans, and uses eco-friendly materials. Exclusivity is also a key aspect, limiting production to appeal to high-end consumers who appreciate quality. In this section, we'll cover the PR goals and objectives of the brand. Year 1 PR goals for the brand include scheduling five trunk shows in iconic destinations, collaborating with similar designers, and focusing on regular posts on TikTok and Instagram. Additionally, a traceability initiative will be launched to allow customers to trace the origin of their products, reinforcing the brand's commitment to sustainability. In year two, the PR goals include opening a pop-up store, expanding to new international markets, continuing collaborations, and focusing on sustainability with eco-friendly materials in production processes. These initiatives aim to increase brand awareness, attract customers, and reinforce a sustainability commitment. In this section, we'll cover the appropriate PR budget allocation and how we can effectively use the PESO model. Mercedes Salazar will allocate $65,000 budget to expand its reach through paid, shared, owned, and earned media channels. For paid media, it will spend $12,000 on Instagram ads, $5,000 on Google Display ads, and $5,000 on sponsored content on fashion and lifestyle blogs. For shared media, the brand will collaborate with travel bloggers and influencers, sponsor fa fashion events and shows, partner with Marriott Bonvoy, and feature pieces in editorials, spending a total of $26,000. For owned media, the brand will invest $4,000 in website design, $2,000 in the social media content calendar, $3,000 in a newsletter, and $7,000 in developing trailers for capsule collections. In this section, we will cover the messaging of the brand, including the selling point, the messages we want to say to the public, the tone slash personality of the brand, and the social media platform we will be using to convey the message. Mercedes Salazar's unique approach to design, commitment to ethical and sustainable practices, and 
and personalization options are the brand's selling points. The brand wants to convey messages such as celebrating Colombian culture, empowering marginalized communities, and creating unique designs. The brand focuses on sustainability and uses eco-friendly materials while highlighting its efforts to empower local markets and Colombian heritage through personalization options. So who should their media targets be? We have six main contacts, the jewelry director at Vogue, the managing, direct, the managing editor at Nat Geo, who's going to help us um, produce the show, the jewelry editor at Elle, um, the associate writer, Victoria Montan Montaiti at Refinery29, the accessories editor, Misty White at WWD, and finally at the Zoe Report, we're going to have Ella Sajman, the free, freelance contributor. Um, this is basically what our press and pitch emails are gonna look like. We have um, like very strong messages using the brand voice um, and of course like the mystic tone of the experience which is gonna have a true identity itself. Um, we also want to have a press release that has both the logos of Mercedes Salazar and La Mamunia since it's gonna be a joint experience. Very clear brand identity, um, very of course concise. This is what our mock-ups are gonna look like. Um, we're very proud of them. They, I think, convey perfectly the experience. Um, the invitation is simply gonna say, join us at the heart of Marrakesh for an unforgettable fusion of Colombian craftsmanship and Moroccan design with Mercedes Salazar's new home goods collection, discover a world of beauty and sustainability at La Mamunia strong show and pop-up event. Um, we also decided to create a menu that features both Moroccan and Colombian cuisine. It's gonna be very, very, very exquisite. The experience is, of course, super sensorial it targets um food especially because it's going to be we're going to be launching the home collection which is a very important part of, of our of our project and, and campaign um and since she mainly is doing tableware at the moment uh, as part of her home home goods new line we need an experience that caters to, to these products and that also will benefits from them so we want the food to be very exquisite and example is our pacific a tuna crudo with saffron and pistachio. So all of the ingredients are gonna be very carefully sourced. This is an example of what our Instagram Instagram content is gonna look like. Again, we're gonna display mainly like the tableware uh, products that we're gonna be using during the event. Um, so before and after study, we're gonna leverage mainly on Instagram using influencers such as Sofia Vergara and uh, Katie Carey who have already worn the products they're gonna be attending the event, uh, hopefully. Uh, before the event, the brand will have 217,000 followers, which is the number they're at right now, and then they're going to follow on to 300,000. Um, after this, we also want to expand the presence on Pinterest uh, since home accessories and home goods are really um, a powerful um, area in, in Pinterest. And finally, we also need um, to develop presence in TikTok, establishing a new account, short videos of manufacturing processes, uh, behind the scenes footage, inspirational items, travel video from the owner, uh, of destinations and from well, travel bloggers and influencers. So uh, we're gonna be, of course, like focusing on on the specific outlets, which are Harper's Bazaar for print media, Ola Magazine, Vogue, um, PR Newswire, Paper City, um, and now we're gonna expand to Cosmopolitan, L, Allure, InStyle, like more official news outlets that cater to the luxury industry. So what are our goals? To increase the brand awareness and recognition in luxury markets, to introduce Mercedes Salazar's unique artisanal techniques to a wider audience, to create a sense of exclusivity and prestige around the brand's limited capsule collections, to leverage partnerships with Marriott Bonvoy and luxury hotels to position Mercedes Salazar as a leading brand in the luxury travel space, to drive the sales of Mercedes Salazar, and finally to enhance Mercedes Salazar's reputation as, as a socially responsible brand through the use of eco-friendly materials and ethical production practices. Our metrics are gonna be, of course, like traffic, um, Tra tracking the website traffic, social media engagement, also monitoring sales, customer feedback. Um, we will also monitor hotel food traffic, the number of guests at the hotel, the ones who visit the pop-up, and the influencer impact, and will finally, of course, the overall ROI. Um, so the integrative in uh, integrated interactive frameworks are very concise. We have the objectives. Um, the overall objective is the organization to design and producing high quality products, expanding market share, building brand awareness and fostering sustainable practices and transparency. And the communication objectives are include increasing brand awareness, increasing website traffic, increasing customer engagement, and of course, on social media platforms and, and others. The inputs are, well, the key target audience, um, Mercedes Salazar, target value, values, uh, quality, uniqueness, sustainability. Um, we are gonna have a larger budget as mentioned before, which is gonna be 65,000. 
And finally, um, the activities uh, are mainly like paid, shared, and owned. And then we have the outputs, which are also paid, owned, and, and earned. Thank you so much. This is our bibliography. Thanks.